Hello. <laughs> I uh, forgot how this thing works in a week. Hi, welcome back. Thank you for uh, joining us uh, again. Another Tuesday of Art Stuff with Gambit. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, we had a comment already. Oh, what's up, Batman? It's so weird to say that. <laughs> I love it. All right. Um, <clears throat> what am I going to be working on today? So I have a lot of work to do, and I should be working on that. But uh, because of contract obligations, I cannot show any of that of those projects uh, here. But <laughs> I can work on something else. But first, I need to uh, get the reference pictures in the iPad because this uh, dude did not uh, do his job properly today. And uh, I didn't download it, the reference picture that I need, which from what I can tell, apparently I didn't even send it. There it is. Bam. So now I can save them. Sweet. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, let me put this in airplane mode again so that there are no uh, weird notifications while, while we are uh, uh, streaming today. Bro, thanks for watching, man. I really appreciate that. All right, so I am going to work on uh, some shading. Right, I know I promised that I was gonna work on some shading uh, shadows and that uh, a few weeks ago, and I didn't because sometimes I do something else. But that's what we're going to do today. So, without, let me, how do I end this thing again? Let's go, yes. This is the Goku drawing from last week. Just showing it there because I really like it. I had to fix the abs a little bit because on the other one they were a little bit wonky. And <laughs> I almost come in late today because I got distracted fixing that. Because I decided to do these things literally last minute every time. I don't know why. Um, so what are we going to do first? We are going to... Oh, I have this really cool design available for tattoos. Um, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get a new canvas, bam, right? <clears throat> and this thing has a real cool feature here, reference, that I can add. Hmm. Give me one second, guys. I am going to change the screen for a second so that I can check something real quick because I'm going to access. Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> some uh, images from those projects that I cannot show you, and I almost opened the folder. <laughs> All right, so I have this foam head at the studio. We use that to put things for sale on it. Uh, I use my, I have one at home, and I use it to put my hats on. Uh, but I decided uh, to um, practice. Uh, some shading with it, right? So there's different ways that I can do this. I can I can go and trace the whole thing, right? And then <clears throat> from that, do what we need to do, right? Um, I can... There are different ways that we, we can approach this. I'm gonna, you know, just use that foam head as a reference. Uh, let me put my face here too. Oh my God, I can make this that big. Wow, no, not that big, there it is. Yeah. Let me see, I'm playing with the layouts now. There it is, why are you doing that? I've already paid for you. You're not supposed to be showing this. Why are you doing that? Do not like that. Pretty pissed about it. Wasn't doing that 
last week. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm going to just use this uh, foam as a as a quick reference, you know, which is I'm not going to actually draw that foam. I think I think I'm gonna end up doing the the thing, the whole thing. This is just so that I practice some shadows, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. All right, something like that, right? So I can do this and do this shading as I would have, as I would do it with ink or a pen. But what I really want to do today is practice how I would shade this with a with a pencil, right? And uh, but Gambit, this is a not a pencil. I know, I know. But we have something. We have some brushes here that would get us that same effect, right? So let's do this thing. What I'm going to find here is that I'm going to go get one of the sketching brushes, especially the 6B1. But ah, there you go. Why this one? Because I can do this. I can, I wish I could show you now the camera, how it, how I angle the, the, the pen. But if this is, you know, the paper, you angle it like this, right? Like, I don't know if you can see it there, like this. And then you go like, like this, you know? And that's how you get some shading. This is an evil Ernie card that I did for Dynamite a few uh, months ago. And I did it to make it look like Eddie from uh, uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> it's an official card. If you're interested, let me know. It's for sale. All right. so. Where was I with the pencil? There you go. See, so I can do with this pencil. I can do this. I can I can make lines, you know, or I can depending on how much pressure I put, I can make a thin line, a thicker line, and I can do the shading thing. See, this is something that it's for me really important that I keep fresh in my head and I keep, you know, practicing every once in a while because it's very important that you shape things right. That's what going to uh, sell your drawing. You can have a very beautiful drawing or in my case tattoo because that's what I do most of the time um, is tattoos. Not most of the time, that's my, that's my job, right? <clears throat> so shading, is very important because I can have a really beautiful looking tattoo with crisp, sharp lines. And if the shading is wrong, that's it, it's dead. All right. Why are you doing that? Okay, so I am going to use this picture as a reference, obviously, and I am going to go ahead and make this a little bit more like a face, you know, instead of uh, just that foam with no expression. I mean, I'm not going to draw any expression, so don't get excited. This is just so that it doesn't look So it looks better than that thing that's there. And this nose, it's looking way too much to the side, right? I should have uh, made this a little bit more like here, right? And then we can see the other part of the nose here. <sighs> it's not free. Give me a second, guys. I am really sorry that I am uh, 
doing this. I am going to put this. Uh, thank you, Batman. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've been working with Dynamite for uh, for a few years now. I am going to uh, put the intro again for a, a few seconds. Give me one second. Let's continue working and uh, let's just ignore that for now until I can figure out what the hell happened. Um, man, that's just gonna throw me off. All right, so let me just uh, make sure that we uh, things that the the app wasn't it wasn't cheap either, so to start doing that thing it's not supposed to be doing damn it all right anyway back to what i was doing so this is something that i try to emphasize on on the apprentice at the studio that they get right so that Like I said, if you can have a very beautiful tattoo, if the if the shading is wrong, it's it's gonna ruin it. It's going to ruin it, right? Okay, let's do that. Let's leave it like that. Just alien eyes. I hate that. Sweet. I am not going to uh, go into too much detail on on terminology or because like I say like I say in every episode these are not tutorials this is just you me see watching me do practice and do stuff that and listen to me talk some but I hope that whatever you see me doing helps you in any way. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or any ideas or things that might help me improve, feel free to leave it in the comments or send me a message. I would love to hear from you. Also, you can uh, uh, follow my Instagram page if you want to see more of my, uh, my work. Uh, since I only do this here once a week. I try to keep up with my Instagram a little bit, uh, but lately has been there has been a lot of work and you know and life happening. Okay, now I'm getting carried away in the expression on this thing, and this is supposed to just be a mannequin for the exercise, right? So I would say that this is a nice. drawing of that foam mannequin what do you guys think let me see all right yeah it's actually really pretty i like it all right 
put this line here under underneath the nose because that helps me with the shape. I cannot tell you guys how much, how difficult it has been for me to learn how to draw a nose that looks like a nose, you know? <laughs> All right, let's make it look like she has her eyes closed. Yeah, no. And I will have to clean this up a little bit so that. All right. Thanks, man. That's uh, that's uh, why I I um. I uh, decided to do this. I mean, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And then one day I was talking with a friend of mine and she was telling me, so you have all this content that you could be, you know, using and you have all this equipment for this and you're not doing it. What, why are you not doing it? And I said, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I'm ready to do it. It's well, you're not. You have to do it. And she was right. So I started to do it. Fuck it. So I know you're watching. Thank you. I mean, I hope you're watching. <laughs> All right. So in this picture, we have the light coming from this area, right? <clears throat> now that I have some uh, an idea of where I want this uh, where this shading goes i'm going to oh my god this thing keeps changing i am going to what am i going to do I'm going to turn this off for a second. I want to see how much I get to do. Wait a second. Um, what the hell? Give me one second, guys. There it is. All right, let's continue. I, I wasn't showing the screen. It was showing the old, the uh, post version of the screen. <laughs> so while I was just talking and working, um, I got to uh, at least make some progress. So this is where I was indicating where the light was, was coming from, this thing. And I took down the reference picture because I want to see if I can remember by these markings how it's uh, the shading. All right, so now you're actually seeing the process of what I'm doing instead of just seeing that frozen image there. I did not notice that it was not, not showing. All right, let's do this thing. So one of the things that you can do with, uh, with Procreate, right? is that you can, I can actually do the shading like this, right? And then go and get as much tool like this one and be like, ah, ha, 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 ha. I can do this, right? And smudge it as I need to, but that's not what I want to do. I want to try it out as if it was, I mean, you're using a pencil and a paper yeah, and on paper, you can use as much tool to defuminate those uh, shading to Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. So let me let me do this thing. See, so now I use that angle that I show you guys for the for the pen, and I can go and start. Shading what I need. Oh my God, this is so annoying. Holy shit. <laughs> Bruh, stop. 
Okay, we're just gonna try to ignore it, okay? I'm just gonna try to ignore it until I can fix that to see what the hell happened. Anyway, so this would be like, <laughs> dude, you don't understand how annoyed I am about that. All right, so this is how I would do it with a pencil. Right, and I start to build up what I uh, the shade. You know what? This is like this would be the simplest way to do it over here because we have the light coming in. Right, maybe like this. Right. And you say, well, that's done. It is, technically it is, and I could get away with just that. And that would be really cool. But I want, I, um, you cannot see it, but you can tell that, oh, it's an easy way to show, the, show, you, the, show you this, like color picking it. There's, there's this shade, there's this value, there's this value, and there's that, that lighter value over there. I'm going to, how about we do this in a, there you go. Let's see. Right. No, let's, I'm going to keep it on the white background so that it's more like a pen, like a pelt, like a, a paper. Jesus Christ. English. What is that? What is that? Okay. So anyway, um, you can tell here that there's some reflection in this area. See? Usually when light hits something, like in this case, it's coming this way. Ba -ba -ba. This uh, light will continue this way, right? And then it's going to hit, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. It's going to hit whatever surface it's here and it's going to bounce back bounce and that's why you get that bit of uh opening smart guy that's why you get that little bit of opening back here and down in down in certain areas because you have that light bouncing bouncing back at it like do 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 it's ruin a drawing in five seconds all right back to it so I know that this part here is a little bit more dark, right? Put the size a little bit bigger. Then we got this here. Best way that I've learned to to do these things, to, to learn how to shade and understand how light works, it's, I'm not saying that I understand that, you know, I'm amazing at understanding it, you know, I understand it perfectly, but I do understand it better than 10 years ago. Uh, right. This is really, really bad. This is really, really bad. This is really, really horrible. And I'm really not happy with it. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, make it disappear. Because that's why you have the undo button. <laughs> and that's why we're doing this to practice. Right. So I don't know why I'm, I I I try to do this thing when I can just turn the paper around, man. Okay, so we just build on it, you know, just a little bit at a time until we get the desired value that we want. It's very important that you learn how to work with those values. Very important. Because that's either going to, like I said, it's going to help your drawing or it's going to kill it. You can have a very beautifully drawn character, you know, very sharp lines. Same with the same with tattoos, like I was saying earlier. And then the shading mm, sucks. And and that plays too with with uh when it's when it comes to uh to adding color to your pieces, you know. If you don't um Oh, sweet baby Jesus. If you exist, you are mocking me right now. Um, 
when you're going to apply color, it's important that you understand, you know, the values of your colors. And you learn the best way for me to understand color theory better for tattoos, at least. I mean, in general, because what I learned for tattoos, I apply it to my regular art. And what I learned on my regular art, I try to apply it to my tattoos. Um, but the best way for me to understand this and learn these things has been drawing from uh, from a picture, you know? Uh, we can all afford to pay a model to to, to pose so that I can draw her or him, you know? Uh, I wish, because I would love to host live drawing, live model drawing sessions here at the office. You know what? I'm gonna look into doing that at some point. Too dark, can be too dark, there you go. Um, now I'm trying to get to push those values and push that shape so that you can see Again, just turn it around, Gamby, and don't zoom in too much. Don't zoom in too much, guys. That's too much. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, if it, it if you go and and get a tattoo, and then you know the artist doesn't doesn't understand values or shading well, they might do a really nice job. You know, but. It won't it won't pass the test of time or or you just notice that it's not that actually that good you know and what i'm doing here i apply shading in tattoos the same way you know i i sometimes go and do all of the dark first and then go and you know shade this part and then as i as i'm getting farther away from the dark part, I just leave my my machine, my needles, or in this case, my pencil. Uh, I lift it slowly from the surface. So that way, that's how you get that softness coming in, right? And then I just go back at it and I keep adding shade until I, I'm happy with what I am seeing. Right, and get it as close as possible to the image that you're seeing. In this case, the image of this thing. So, so I was saying, I would love to host a uh, live model drawings here in the office, and I'm going to look into doing that in the future. Like maybe for summer, that's a thing that I would like to do here. Anyway, I digress. Is that the word digress? Uh, so like I was saying, I, I apply the shading on the tattoo almost the same way. Uh, from dark to light, because that way I can, I can add, I cannot subtract from it, especially in a tattoo, you know, if, if I'm doing a tattoo and it, and I made the shading too dark. That's it. There's nothing I can do about that. That is how it's going to stay. But if I make it light and it turns out that it's too light, then I can I can go ahead and, and add, like I just did, add just enough so that I can get that. Do -do 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 -do. I suggest that when you do these exercises, you take your time and, and look at what you're doing. You know, actually pay attention to what you're doing. So I'm doing this really fast. I don't know why, but I should slow down a little bit. But I probably won't do that. I make a, I'm gonna call a couple of my oh jeez. <laughs> Woo! I am going to drink. Uh, 
uh, I am going to drink uh, some water. Because that she was irritating. Hmm. Anyway, yes, dude, for real. I don't know why. I think I think what happened. I don't know. It was supposed to be logged in. I don't know why it's doing that thing. It might be that I that somehow it logged off at some point and I didn't notice. And now it's thinking that I'm using a free version. And somehow it wants to tell me how long I've been streaming. I know how long I've been streaming. I do this every week. Anyway, I'm not going to let that ruin the rest of my day. Right. So we have to think when we're doing this, think about that shape. I usually try to shade in that, in that shape following the shape because those lines although i'm trying to make them not that noticeable are going to help you see the shape that i want you to see and it's going to help me too you know and it's it goes for a better drawing I can tell that there's a little bit more here. Ba, 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 ba. So I'm going to make this like pretty good swag like this, this, this. You see, and then I just continue to add to what I have so that I can get at least three different values on this grayscale. I want like a dark, I want medium, and I want light, right? And then I want like where the light is actually reflecting. Oh, <laughs> right. So this thing has a shape here, right? So we have to shade this part here a little bit. Too much, too much. Let's see. And there's a, you can see there's some shade in here. So I'm gonna do the same thing because I want to keep showing that shape and then you want to add in this case the way the light is hitting this area in the nose see how oh my god there it is see there's a very thin line there that you can't almost see we can do that we can just erase that line You see, erasing those lines, what it's going to do is going to give it a little bit more of a realistic effect. Um, it all depends on what you want to achieve. I might change it back and see the line. I might not. Again, this is just practice. You do the same thing until you find what works best for you and how you can achieve uh, your desired effect, you know? Because that's what matters, the end result. The customer won't care how we get there, just that we get there. Of course, you don't want to cheat your customer and you don't want to cheat yourself. So learn how to do it. Just learn how to do it. Oh, hi, Marla. Oh, my God, you made it on time. Oh, sweet baby, Joseph. <laughs> oh, my God. I swear, I'm trying to not let that shit uh, uh, 
get to me, but it's it's. I'm gonna write a strong word, a strong worded letter to these people because holy shiitake mushroom. Damn, it's insulting, embarrassing. So Marla, since you just joined us, I am practicing uh, Soma shading uh, for uh, the purpose of uh, practicing some shading because I promised I was going to do that a few weeks ago and I didn't do it. Okay, so we I am getting to this part here. I am not too happy with how this is blending here, but I'm gonna leave it like that and just keep working until I get what I need because that's how you do it. You, I, you, you, sometimes you just, you shouldn't rely on the undo. You know, the undo function is a great function, but also learn how to fix things and how to, how to not fix, but how to get their desired effect with what you got. And if if that means that you're gonna have to like, just continue adding more shading until you get that, then you continue adding more shading until you get that, you know? Sometimes it just happens. You, I, I mean, using an eraser, you, you should. That's why they were invented. All right, so. I'm going to start this from scratch because I am not happy. This would be a faster, this is a faster way to erase things. That is all. All right, let's do this again. I'm going to clean this. I guess if it was a new paper again, a new part of the paper that I haven't touched, you know, to be honest, in reality, uh, if I was doing this on paper, there would have been a bunch of smudges everywhere in the paper. Uh, but since this is digital, I have a little bit more control of that. So you can tell, you see how there's some light reflecting in this part of the neck where it should be dark. Those are sweet. Yes, this is very, uh, just seeing me do it will, will help, you know? So we're back to this shape part here. Pretty girls walk like this, this, this. Man, I have that song stuck again in my head. All right, so we have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a lighter value of the gray here, right? And get it as even as possible. And then slowly start bu start building. Oops, <laughs> that's too much. I just said do not rely on the undo button, right? <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, okay? Again, whatever works for you. I'm trying to treat this as close to, a, uh, like I said, pencil and paper. So I am not too happy with this line right here. <laughs> with this line right here. This line here, I do not like it because there's not an actual line there. Let me put this back here, right? I mean, for the purpose of this exercise, this, this is a good first step, you know, this would be a good practice, but I want... <laughs> wow. I think it's time to search for a new app because this one, it's 
annoying as fuck. If I can fix that for next week, oh, next week I'm going to Puerto Rico on Wednesday. So next week there's not a stream. I'm going to try to have to do something before and have it uh, have it available to be to uh, and have it so that I can post it on Tuesday. So that way, even if I'm not uh, live, at least you you have something to to watch and 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 uh, and get entertained. But I am going to lower the opacity on the eraser so that it feels more like an eraser in my hands and not a brush that I'm erasing things, right? Because now the trick would be to make it all match. Hmm. Okay. So I don't like this at all, but I've been saying that since the beginning of the drawing. Again, for the sake of the exercise, I am going to let it go. Let it go. I don't care. The shading never bothered me anyways. <laughs> All right, so I am cleaning this part here just a little bit just because I want to. I was it was not my intention to make it look realistic, but now that I'm into this thing, I am pushing it as fast as, as fast as uh as much as i can there's also a little bit of a little bit of light here reflected so it's too light so i'm gonna now there you go Bam. See, and now we have here a little bit more grace. And you can see this line down here. I'm going to leave it on. <coughs> because that would be the shadow. We will break away together. I'll be the shadow, you'll be the light. All right, so we have some shading back here. Bam, 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 bam. I'm not going to do the cardboard that we have on the picture because there's no need for that. But I'm going to do the drop shadow that I'm going to do. So one of the things that I learned that I've learned about light and shadow is that the closest to the object, the darker the shadow. Farther away, the lighter it is until it disappears. <clears throat> so yeah, this is how it will more or less be. Ta-ta! So we're looking ahead. Hmm. <laughs> Um, remember that you can follow my Instagram page is Gambit Singh. My, uh, if you feel like, uh, 
helping a dude out. My coffee is Gambit Inc. too. Coffee.com, Gambit Inc. My Instagram is Gambit Inc. If you want to buy some merch, I have a Redbubble store. It's called gambitsync.redbubble.com. You can see it right here on the bottom. Like I'm reading it. I don't know it by memory. I was just reading it. But yeah, there's all those options to help out. I will appreciate it. I have on my merch store, I have t-shirts, I have stickers. I have a bunch of stuff. I am working on uh, reviving my uh, uh, website, which is not, it's not down, it's still up, but it's not, it's in the process of being updated at the moment. And sort of rebranding, not rebranding because I'm not changing much. I, I, I did change the logo to a new one and I'll be posting on my blog again soon because I I miss writing and I have that writing each lately. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. So and soon I'll be have I'll have my my store there open too. If you want to buy directly from me, which would be more appreciated, much more appreciated. <laughs> Bad grammar to piece off my friends that are very into the grammar thing. Okay. All right, look at that. Yeah, new stuff, man. I, uh, I, I'm trying, dude, every time, every chance I get, I try to, uh, to do new stuff and put it out. I have, I haven't put a new design. Oh, there's actually a 40% off on, uh, on, on Redbubble going on. Let me make sure, let me make sure that that's what I read on that message so that I don't, uh, be like lying to all of you said like, yeah up to 40 percent off everything save on clothes stickers and more art is made for you to love and it's right there right there it's just so right there on oh, my red bubble store there's a 40 percent off so go and buy some stuff so that i so that i can eat this week because hello fresh is expensive as fuck all right I would say that this is a nice exercise. This was a nice exercise. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. This was a nice exercise on shading. And um, so this part here, let me make, I'm going to criticize my own thing next to the other one. I would say that this eye is out of whack. Uh, this part here is a little bit more darker than in the original picture. And this part here is a little bit, uh, but again, it's just an exercise to make sure that I stay, you know, fresh and practice in this matter. Uh, let me push the value a little bit more because I want this shape to go more like <laughs> to the inside, right? And then I'm gonna push it here a little bit too. There it is. Um, there's this part here that will be shaded because of the way the light is sitting it. Look at that. I can continue pushing this thing. I can be like, OK, so what am I going to do now with this? Let me just go ahead and make everything in the back darker. But now I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to touch it. And I'm just going to keep working on adding more values. How about that? What do you guys think? Just so they get a little bit closer to the to the how it'll be shaded. There's a bunch of there's an app out there. I learned about it yesterday. I I forgot the name. I suck. That it has a face model, you know, and it's uh it gives you you can manipulate the light, you can manipulate uh, the shape a little bit so it'll it's a great tool to practice and to draw heads you know and see how light <laughs> affects the drawing and all of that i am going to 
Sweet, Marla. Yes, do it and uh, send me a picture. I want to. I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, Marla is the owner of the Blue Opal Tattoo Studio where I work in Merritt Island. Uh, amazing artist and a great human being. So say hi to Marla next time you see her online, guys. She's great. All right. So back to this. Let's make this. Uh, oh, it's almost time. I can't believe it took me almost an hour to do this. In the back. Let's. Uh, if I wanted to use this, one of the techniques that I've learned is that I go now and I add a layer on top of it with color, right? That way, if I go over this thing, this with a color, it's going to be affected by that shade. See? So everything that's shaded is gonna turn into that color. And I am not, I this is just a different layer. I'm not touching the original drawing. So if you have your values right, right? If you have your value, if you do that, that's a, uh, I learned, I, I learned this technique <clears throat> with Copic markers. And I learned this technique from Mark Brooks when he was in Puerto Rico at the Puerto Rico Comic Con. I saw him drawing and I asked him, hey man, do you mind if I watch you draw? And he said, yeah, sure. And he was explaining to me that he use, uh, he uses almost everything he draw at that time. I don't know if he's doing the same thing right now. Uh, but at the time he would do the drawing basically in muted colors by using uh, different grays, like cold grays, warm grays, and neutral grays, those three grays, right? He would use the warm grays where the reds and yellows and all the warm colors are going to be. He uses the, use the, cool grays to where the blues and all of those colors are. Um, right? So it's almost a muted drawing of it's sort of black and gray, but you can see where the blues are, where the reds are, and where the neutral colors for balance are. And then you go in on um, digitally and you just put color over it and it's just what you need and you get you get a, a, a nice rendered full color drawing and technically what you did was a solid black and gray drawing that you could put color over it later see so i didn't do much and i just put red over it and i would it would have been easier for me this is just a different thing now if i just created a the layer i put the layer on uh, on the color uh thing and then just drop the color over there and everything that's shaded going is going to turn red faster even faster and if i wanted to not do it that way right because there's other colors in the in the page and i don't want everything to be affected by red i would do the same thing create a new layer put uh put it on color there it is and then i would just select specifically what i want to have that color right i'm gonna do i'm gonna select the whole thing and instead of red let's do let's do purple that's it. And that's how uh, you, that's, that's like the fastest way that I've done it. Uh, the whole purpose of having this tool is that you, you can work faster. Uh, it's just a tool, like having a ruler, like having a mask, like having uh, some, uh, uh, shit, I forgot the name of that thing. Anyway, many other many other tools that we have at our disposals uh, to at disposal to to work on on traditional art. We have similar things on on this thing. It's just a tool, right? It's not doing it for you. It's just help, helping you move a little bit faster and less messy. Because probably to do this, probably to do this drawing, I would have gone through two, three, four papers before I was satisfied with this. Which is not a bad thing, you know. It's it's practice. You need to do this more than four times, more than five times. This is not a drawing that I didn't learn to do this yesterday. I learned to do this, oh my God, through the years. This is this is many years of practice. But I am not going to this, uh, 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 I, I lost it. I lost what I was going to say. Anyway, 
So yeah, this is the exercise for today. Uh, I think that, uh, again, I'm going to try to have something ready for you guys for next week. I'm not going to be live next week. Uh, I have too much to get ready for uh, in the next few weeks since I'm going to Puerto Rico for the Puerto Rico Comic Con. And then I'll be uh, tattooing some clients down there. And I'll be back on the 5th and the 14th of April. In the meantime, like I said, I'm going to try to have something every week for you guys. If it's not on Tuesdays at 6 and it maybe not be an hour long, but at least I will try to uh, post regularly. So be sure to subscribe uh, to this page and uh, check out, like I said, my Instagram. It's Gambit Sync, and you can get a more up-to-date uh, update on that, on that account as well. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me and being uh, keeping me company today while I made this exercise. Uh, we are three minutes away from the hour mark. I can't believe that we finished in an hour. Wow. Uh, I'm trying to, I wanted to to make it a little bit longer, but I, like I said, I have a bunch of work to do and I need to get back to it. So as soon as everything's ready for me to let you guys know, let's let you guys know I will because it's really exciting. One of those projects I'm working on, I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait for you guys to, 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 to see it and share it with you guys. So hopefully I'll see you guys next, next week. Maybe not live, but you'll get to see me. And if not, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. And uh, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you later.